Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another part of my series. This is part four of So You Only Have 10 Minutes using the, the March 2021 She Lot of Cards sketch by Alicia of Call Me Crafty Out. I'm gonna be using my stamp positioner today for the inside of the cards and we just have a little bit to finish up the front of the cards. This is my stamp positioner that I made myself. It's an Ikea side folding photo frame. And I've already got a happy birthday stamp for the inside for one of them. And then I'll be using another one for the other cards. Okay, let's begin. 10 minutes on the clock. And I'm going to be finishing the last couple of these sentiments, popping them up. I do have another bunch here. It's feast or famine with these dimensionals. I can't find a set, so I buy some more and then I find them both. So let's see where we are. We'll just use four. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put on our little palm leaves. This glue does dry clear, which is an advantage. will be donating these cards as the last batch I sent were pretty much all feminine. I think these would be great. These palm leaves would be great for Easter cards too. I have some monkey stamps and dies that I bought. I was gonna make a birthday card for my granddaughter, which I still can, my youngest. But I just haven't used it yet. And these would go great also for that.
Okay, this is already done. So let's see. One, two. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. Playing hide and seek with my palm leaves here. This is Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. One of my favorites. The other one is Art Glitter Glue. And I bought my last one from Mamie's. Mamie made it. And she also sells these cool little stoppers, I think. They're pins with some real cute little baubles on them. I haven't been to her website in a while. So I'll have to check on that. Okay, last but not least on the little palm fronds here. Good. Okay. All right. We're going to put in these little flags. Like I said, I did make some of them by hand because I cut the paper down too little to fit into the... It fit fine, but I just couldn't hold on to it. So lesson learned there. Keep the piece long enough. Okay, there's that one. If the top has the purple on it, I put the clock piece inside. I'm really pleased with the response from you guys on my other videos. I really appreciate the support. And I'm glad you're getting some value out of this. I want to do my best to maybe help you learn something you didn't know or just improve my skills as I do it. Also, we're always learning, right? Oh, we're not going to get to the stamping today, I don't think. But the cards will be done. The outside of the cards. So if you want me to do another video and show you how I use the stamp positioner on these, please leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, this will be my finale video.
because the outside of the card, the card is completed. Depending on when I send them is usually when I go ahead and stamp in the inside. But I've learned my lesson on some of that, especially Christmas. Because it's like last minute to the wire. And then when I discover that I hadn't stamped the inside yet, I'm like, oh, yeah. I thought it was done. So, yes, there are exceptions. Okay, there we go. Our Ten minutes is up. Let me go ahead and put this one on. I will finish putting the flags in on my own. But, but I will wait on the stamping. If you want me to do a video just just on the stamping, I'd be glad to do that. Just please let me know in the comments. There are my cards. My masculine cards that I will be no donating. And I used Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owls, March 2021 sheet load of card sketch. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.